Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I haven't really got much at all. I was just going to talk about a few things and, just, well, I'll go straight in. It's been a sad day because my baby blue has finally, wow, come to the end of its life because it's broke. <laughs> this is now completely just, it's so loose, it's just gone. And it's my own fault because... I was die cutting something and I really was forcing it and I was like go on it's just gonna go it's just gonna go and it literally went almost like bang kind of thing it like popped and then that just went really really loose and it's just it's gone it just it doesn't grab anything anymore and it, it gets caught so yeah I've had it for about maybe four five years a long time so it's really good and I would get it again but I'm not happy with how much they've hiked the prices up for this they have now restarted selling it again and they're selling it for 65 plus and I'm just not paying that for a mini dye machine so if anybody has any other recommendations I already have one in mind that I'm going to go for and I will share that one hopefully it'll be here within the next week so I'll be able to share it next week with you all but yeah if you've got any ideas or recommendations of ones that you have and that you you know you really enjoy please pop them in the description box below so I can have a little look so yeah it's this I would still I would recommend it's a brilliant machine but I just don't like, I paid £25 for this. Uh, actually, no, my mum did. She bought it as a gift for me, Christmas gift. And that was the full price for it. So in four years, three, four, yeah, four, five, something like that anyway, it's it's gone up a lot. And uh, yeah, I just don't really want to pay that much again. So yeah, I don't want to pay too much. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Okay, then I popped to the charity shop and I just saw these. So it was £2.50. And the reason I liked it is they're all silver. And this is a beautiful, really nice thick material silver. It's lovely. So we made in England, 100% polyester. It was 40p a metre, but there's still quite a lot on there. There you go, you can see how much is on there. So there's a good, yeah, good few metres. So I've got that one. These two are brand new, never even been opened. And these sell, I think, for about 150 to two pound from the range. I see them in their big bins there. So I've got two of them and it's very similar. This is a little bit rougher than this one here. And then this one was also in there. This was 199 originally but it's a real thin lovely so smooth and um, again with all the Christmas projects now starting to come into my mind and commissions that I'm doing it's nice to have these kind of you know colours I do have some silver but I saw all them and I thought for what was it I say 250 that was a bargain so I've got loads of meters there and then I picked up the creative stamping issue uh, 75 magazine and the reason I've gone for this one I always like their magazine they always have great inspiration and they always do an A4 stamp set and the reason I love this one so much it is Christmas themed but it's the clearly besotted uh, company have obviously collaborated for this one and look at all these lovely little images here the snowman's so cute love that nice big joy stamp and I also like what was the other one this the let it snow I love that font I think that's really nice nice noel there I love that Chris Moose and you've got the little moose there. So again, and the stamps are great because they're not, they haven't got a lot of detail. They haven't got a lot of black in them. So these are perfect for, for coloring and all these lovely little subtitles here. So that's the clearly besotted section. And then this is the practical publishing, their own, you know, obviously designers and stuff have done these ones. So look at that lovely heart wreath as well. I think that's really nice. You've got inspiration some here for the clearly besotted and they just mix them with some of the other ones as well. I think it is just that section there because the way they framed that makes me think it's that. But obviously they've used Noel with it there. So you can obviously, yeah, mix it all together. It's entirely up to you, but I love the, the wreath around that. They've done like an aperture. So cut it out of the, the card itself. And then inside there's tons of inspiration. So they've done like another kind of like almost aperture or diorama style card there, which I think looks really nice. And I recognize this stamp sex. I have that, that's the woodware one. You would have seen me use that in some tutorials. So I like to see what they're doing there. And there's the diamond fold card that I've made as well. Well, not that one, that's not, you know, but I've obviously got a tutorial for that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna, as always, usually after these I go and sit down with a cup of tea. Oh, there they are there. And uh, yeah have a good old read so that's that one also from the charity shop <laughs> I'm not having these I'm actually giving these to my mum it's 50p and they are the tonic studios picture frames uh, shadow box cards so I have lots of tutorials how you can make these but for speed sometimes we all do it it is you know if you've got something you can just pop out and <laughs> quickly fold so my mum will, will enjoy this and it comes with the stand there as well or a little hook 
I like the idea of the little hook so you can hang it. But um, I'll link up my shadow box ones because they will be up there so you can also look at those. But these don't look like they would be too old. Um, if I can find any links to this, I will do. You get five and I believe it will give you, it will finish being because that's going to fold in on itself. So you're looking at a four by four inch rough centre. So I imagine it's going to be a five by five frame. Yeah, five by five or five and a half. I need to, I'm just looking at those folds. So it's a nice size. So um, yeah, none of you are familiar with these or you've seen mine. I've literally got identical ones to that and I've got tutorials for them. But for people that do like to have something pre-made and you don't want to do the scoring, then yeah, these look good. And then I'm just showing you the other magazines I've brought this month. Now I know I have already shared these in my What Did I Get? But I do get a lot of people messaging me without even looking at the YouTube asking me what magazines that I've purchased or what ones I like. So these are the other ones. So this is the Papercraft Essentials and I made the wreath with this one. And I used, this is the die that comes with it. Really, really nice. And I do have other tutorials coming and you've got the free embossing folder. This is still available, so I'll link it below. Really like this one. And then this was the other creative stamping one and I've already done a tutorial using this stamp set. And so you can see what I mean. If, if, you, if I was to say, well, there's many that I would say subscribe to, but if you're someone who loves stamps and you just, yeah, that's your thing. The Creative Stamping Magazine is brilliant. I did used to subscribe to it, but it got a bit out of control because I just had so many stamps. And they don't repeat themselves, but you know that there's going to be another Christmas one and, and spring ones tend to be a little bit generic because I don't think people, well, I say they don't think outside the box, but there's you always get the rabbit and you get the, the daffodils. You know what I mean? It's So you, you don't always need multiples of that kind of thing. So I stopped subscribing just so I could kind of pick and choose. But if you're someone starting off and you, you want to have something coming through your door, this is a lovely magazine to get. So you see what I mean? That you just get... And they're so different from one, one month or one issue to the next. That was last issues. This is the newer issue. I mean, I know we're going into Christmas and that, but um, it's they do really always do a nice variety and they collaborate a lot with, with, like the, with the brands that you love. So I got this one because it's for the love of stamps and I love them. And then this one, I like the Clearly Besotics. I love all the little critters that they do. So... Yeah, and they collaborate with other designers and things like that, so you'll see that as well. So that was the Creative Stamp in 74, that was 75, and that was the Papercraft Essentials 177, and I will link that below, because also, once this video goes out, this issue 178 has gone out as well. And that one has... What did that one have on it? And I really, Oh, it's got a... Um, oh, is it a diorama? I think it's a diorama card. I'm sure it is, but it's Christmas. It looks amazing. I'm going to be getting that. So I will get that now, like within the next few days, and I'll share that next week. But if anybody is wanting to grab it before, then I would definitely recommend that one because the kit that comes with it, um, I'll link it down below. All right, so have a little look at that. You can click on it. It'll be along with this one, actually. So you can see, you know, but it's a really nice Christmas card and the kit that they give you from what I've seen on the cover. I only saw it on Facebook today. Well, no, it wasn't today. When was it? Yesterday, I think it was, because it was showing you what was coming. That was it. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really fun. So I'm definitely going to get that one. And I think that one might actually drop through my door because I do get them. If I feature in them, I get them dropped through my door for free, which is really nice. And I am in issue 178, I think. I'm sure I am. So <laughs> um, hopefully that might even come through my door. I need to check. So anyway, that's everything. It was very quick. Um, I won't ramble on anymore check the links below if you are interested in any of this let me know what d mini die machines i have big die machines i don't need to get that i want a mini little desk one so the plates I like the size of these so i want something that's roughly the same as this again these were one two you're looking at three it's about three and a quarter i think the plates are the no the plates were three yeah so i don't really want anything bigger than that so yeah, let me let me know what ones you like. So thank you for watching. All the links will be shared below as always. And I will be back tomorrow with my normal Friday tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.